Hello friends, I am Charan. Welcome to my channel. Today I am explaining hashed in interview question. Chali video shuru karte. Before starting the video, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for receiving my new videos. The problem statement is searching middle element in array. Given two arrays A and B with N and M array elements, store it in stored sorted order in the third array C. It should be in the format like odd elements store first in C and next even elements. Return the middle element. If the length of C is odd, return middle element else two middle elements. The problem is like that. You have given with the two arrays and you have to store in third array with the sorted order. First, you have to store all odd elements and odd numbers and after the odd numbers, you have to store even numbers and after the this after the sorting, you have to return the middle element if the length of the third element is odd, then you have to return only one middle element. If the length is even, then you have to return two middle elements. Okay. So let's get into the problem solution. Problem solution. So I coded a simple brute, brute force approach. First, I initialized three list. I am solving this in Python. Okay. First is first I taking three list A, B, C. A is for taking one array from first array and taking second array and storing the sorted in third array. And N is the number of elements in the list A. Okay, then I iterating for taking n elements for array 1. Okay, for that I return for i in range 0, comma n element 1 is equal to int input. And next I append each element to list A. This is because you cannot directly insert elements to list okay so that's why i use this method and next same procedure for second list that is you have to take m elements this is the statement you have to take m elements and again iterate for initializing second array to b okay for the storage optimization i used a here you can use b also okay there is no problem i will change this if you want and put that code link in description if you want that but here I made it with only single array. You want, I will make a change and upload it in GitHub. Okay. Next, here I appended elements to the first array that is A only. Taken two inputs. Okay. Next, I sorted. First, I sorted the elements. Okay. After that, if elements are odd, then store it in C first. Okay. For that, I return code here. For I in A, if I percentage 2 is not equal to 0, C dot append of I. Okay. For each element in A, if that integer or that element is divided, 
मॉड्यूल ऑफ टू इज इक्वल नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो देन इट इज एन ऑड एलिमेंट एंड एड इट टू दर्ड अरे ओके आफ्टर दट I again checking for even elements. If the element is equal to zero, element module two is module two is equal to zero, then append the even elements to the C. That same array only. Okay. I printing the odd even sorted array. Okay. Next for printing the middle element. First, you have to check if the array is array length is even. You have to print two middle elements. Okay, for that I taken length of the list that is third list C, and I checking if P modulo two is equal to zero. That means if P is even, okay, then it will be Me dividing by two, then store it in Q. After that, you have to print two middle elements. Okay, I return int here because if if you directly return p by two, then it will store floating value, and it will gives while you it gives error while you printing. Okay, so that I made int. Okay. If uh, for example five by two, it will be giving two point five in Q, but you don't have two point five index. So when when I write in here, it becomes five by two means two point five. It will be becoming two. So that I return two and two minus one means one. Okay. So it prints that middle elements and its left left to next element, so that you will be getting two middle elements. Else, if it is odd, you don't have to check for this. It is length even or odd. You directly write Q is equal to int of p by two and print that middle element. Okay, let's. Run the code. Let's run the complete code, and you will be understanding how it works. Okay. So, I enter number of elements for list A is three. Okay, and here I enter elements uh, three, one, eight. Okay, and Sorry, element one three one eight. Okay, okay. I have to give each one an element. Okay, I give three elements. First, I give three, and next one, and next eight. Okay. Next second list is I give four. M value will be four. Now I giving zero as an element, and also one. And nine and four. Okay. So our odd even sorted array is one one three nine zero four eight one one three nine are odd elements and zero four nine are even elements. Okay. And the middle element is nine because the Third array length. The resultant array length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and the middle of the seven is four. Fourth element. Okay. Now we check for even length. I again run this program and I give now four and two zero. Nine, three, and for second I give again four elements. The elements are eight, zero, two, seven. Okay. 
our sorted list is seven sorry three seven nine these are odd elements and zero zero two 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 eight eight or even elements and the middle elements because it printed two middle elements that is zero and zero here is some it it has written as a n s but it is a n d and okay the length of third array is now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and it is even so that's why we return two middle elements okay this is about today's video this is the problem asked in hash bin interview question okay thank you for watching if you like this video please hit like button and share with your friends